Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. We all know about how to start an activity using start activity method. But in some situation, we want to start an activity and we expect some result back from it. In such situation, we can start an activity using start activity for result. So here in this video, here I am going to create an Android application that demonstrate how to get a result from an activity by using start activity for result method. So we can begin with a new Android Studio project. Here I name the project as activity example. So here our project is ready in Android Studio. So in this project here I need an additional activity. So here I am going to start a new activity. Select an empty activity. Here I name it as message activity. Now here I am going to add the user interface for the newly created activity. So here I create the user interface for the newly created activity. Here I place an edit text and a button. So here I am going to modify the id for the edit text. Here I name it as txt message. Now here I am going to specify an on click method for the button. Here I name it as send message. Now go to the XML file. So now we need to implement this method inside the newly created activity class file. So here I implement that method. Okay. Now go back to the main activity. Here also we need to add some user interface. So here I create the user interface for the main activity. Here I add a text to view and a button. So I select the text to view and here I modify the ID of the text to view into txt uh, display message. Okay, now select the button and specify an on click method for the button. I name it as get message. Now go back to the XML file. We need to implement this method inside our activity class. So <coughs> here uh, we implement that method. So now we are going to start the message activity with this method start activity for result. So we need some message. We need some message from the message activity. So first here I am going to create some integer variable. Here I create an integer variable, it's a final variable, it is public static. Uh, here I initialize that variable with the value 0, 1. So for starting a new activity, we need an indent. So here I create an indent object, new indent. First parameter is the context, second parameter is the activity class name. Here it is message activity dot class. So now the indent is ready. So here instead of start activity, we are going to use start activity for result method. So I'm going to call that method start activity for result. For this method, you have to pass at least two parameters. First one is a request code. Sorry, first parameter is the indent object. So here I pass the indent object. Second parameter is a request code. The request code is for nothing uh, if there are multiple call for start activity for result in order to avoid the confusion we can use the request code by using the request code we can identify the correct response from the child activity so that is the purpose of the request code so here i pass the request code uh, here the variable is message request so we start the activity using start activity for result now go back to the main activity. So from the main activity, uh, here we have the button on click method called the send message. So first thing, first we have to get the message from the user. So for that, here I create some variables for edit text. 
initialize that variable uh, it is txt message so first we can get the message from the user so now we need to send back this message to the parent activity so for that you can use a method called set to result so here you have to specify two parameter first one is the result code and second one is the data so here we can attach the data to an indent object so here i create an indent return indent new intent okay so now i'm going to attach the message to this return intent so return intent dot put extra first specify the key for the data here i name it as message now specify the data here the data is message okay so now we can send back the result to the parent activity so we can use this method set to result so you have to pass two parameters first one is the result code and second one is the indent object so if the child activity successfully pro successfully process the request and if the response is okay in that case we can pass the result code as a result okay if the child activity failed to process the request in such case we can pass the result cancelled so here we can pass the here the response is okay so we can pass the result okay flag so set to result here we can use this flag result okay now the second parameter is the indent so here is the second parameter is indent uh, here it is return indent okay and finally we can finish this activity so from this activity we successfully send the result to the parent activity so here the parent activity is main activity so if you start an activity using start activity for a result in order to get the response from the child activity you need to override one method called own activity result so this method has three parameter first one is the request code by using the request code we can identify the correct response from the child activity and second one is the result code if the result is okay uh, it will return a flag called the result okay uh, if the child activity failed to return back the result in that case the value for result called may be result failed sorry result cancelled and the, you can find the data from the indent object so first we can identify uh, is this is the correct response so we can check that one so if message request equal to the request code in that case we can check the second condition if result code dot a result code it is also integer is equal to a result okay in that case we can handle the result so we can get the result from the child activity string message equal to so here we have an indent object so from that indent we can get the data so get extra get string extra and pass the key for it here it is message okay so now we can display this message on a text view so we need to create some variables for text view as txt display so now we can initialize that text view so txt display equal to find the view by id or txt display message and finally we can display the message using that text view txt display dot set the text and pass the message so now we can start this now we can test this project so here i am going to run the project
okay now the application available on this first show device so now here i am going to start the second activity so from the second activity here i am going to send some message now send that message so now that message available inside the main activity so this is how we start an activity using start activity for result method i hope you understand the concepts for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching See you in the next episode.